Hey all, it's me Preeti. Still now I was discussing about arrays, that is how to traverse an array, how to declare an array, how to initialize an array and so on. I think all of these are, um, are being uploaded in my previous playlist, that is basics about arrays. So once you understand how to initialize, how to declare and how to traverse an array, it would be easier for you to understand any other complex program which comes upon arrays. Now, I've also written uh, two different uh, coding questions on arrays, that is how to find the smallest element in an array and how to find the biggest element in an array, right? So those two are also our most important questions which are being asked by different companies. Moving on, I wanted to make several more and more videos on arrays because most of the companies, they prefer asking array questions. So if you go and Google it, you just find more, many more questions regarding arrays. That is, um, uh, most of uh, questions I observed is, uh, arrange the elements of an array in ascending order, arrange the elements of an array in descending order, find the second biggest element of an array, find the second smallest element of an array, and find the duplicates of uh, duplicates present in an array, and so on, right? So that is the reason I wanted to make more and more videos about arrays, and uh, today I thought I'll make a video regarding ascending order, descending order of an array, and also many more. But then, uh, a uh, very good thing I want to say is uh, to arrange elements in an ascending order and also in descending order. And if you want to find the second biggest element in an array, there is just a single logic to be followed. So all, all of these pr three programs, they have a single logic, but a very minor differences. Uh, and I'll be covering all of those three in three different videos so that it will be easier for you to understand in a better way rather than just uh, merging up everything at once right but then i'll use the same logic for all the three programs please do watch and let me know how it was for you uh, yeah this is the one which is on the screen uh, that is how to arrange the elements of an array in ascending order but then i'll uh, implement the logic again for you in front of you so that uh, you will understand them perfectly for now i'll just uh, delete this one right i'll just go here right click delete yes okay why am I doing this again? I want to, I want you people to understand the logic, not the syntax. Uh, see, understanding the syntax will be easy, but understanding the logic would take time. So I'll try my level best to make you understand. So ascending order of array, right? I'm creating this main method for me. Yes. Now. So you people already know how to initialize and declare an array, right? Yes. So this is how you initialize and declare an array. So uh, the elements are already in ascending order. Let me do one thing. I'll give 10, I'll give 2, 3, and I'll give 1, right? So now the ascending order should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, and 10. So this, is, this should be the result, right? Now, what am I supposed to do now? Initially... To iterate a loop, to get the individual element of an array, you must traverse an array. This was thought in my previous video. So how to traverse an array? For int i is equals to 0, i less than a dot length and i plus plus. Right? When you do this, you get individual element of an array. And again, I'm using another nested for loop. I'll tell you why. For int j is equals to 0. Uh... Yeah, j is equals to i, j less than a dot length and j plus plus. Yes. Moving on. Now, yeah, I'll write a logic and then I'll explain you. a of i is greater than a of j. Then store it into a temporary variable. Int temp is equals to zero. Right. Now. Let me explain the logic. Initially, when the for loop, out of for loop, it reads for the first time, the i value will be 0, right? i value will be 0, which matches to the index position 0. The index position 0 will be 10, right? And the value of 10 will be here. So just think the value of 10 is here. When it moves to the inner for loop, j is equals to i. That is, what is the value of i is uh, high here? It is 0. So 0 will be assigned here. So it is just instead of me assigning j is equals to 0, I am directly taking the value of i. Okay. And j is less than a dot length and j plus plus. People, the most important thing to be understood is the outer for loop iterates once each time. 
while whereas the inner for loop iterates the length times that is if a dot length what is the length it might be seven yeah it might be eight so each time the inner for loop iterates seven times whereas the outer for loop iterates only once okay so this is what the main logic is when the first time when the outer for loop iterates the 10 will be taken from the outer for loop and this 10 will be compared with all the next elements in an array the 10 will be compared with the 2 it will be compared with 1 3 4 5 6 6 and 6 so how many times it has to be compared that many times the inner for loop will be iterated right yeah so the logic is if a of i is greater than a of j that is if a of i that is a of i i value will be 10 if 10 is greater than a of j the a of j will uh, a of j value will also be 10 if it is greater than j then initialize then store that a of i value into temp right and move the value of a of j into a of i right and finally move the value of a of j that is the value of temp into a of j so the thing is a of j will have the results stored in it finally it create a loop out of the for loop for int i is equals to 0 i less than a dot length and i plus plus so give it this way a of j in space so people why am i giving this uh, double quote it's just to maintain the space between two elements just give i here save and run yes so you can see the uh, output here but if you want to see the output in a horizontal way just give print instead of print ln run so this is how you get the result of ascending order of an elements in an array so i hope this logic was very simple when compared to any other logics and it follows the same logic for uh, descending order of an elements array elements as well and also to find the second largest element of an array so people i hope you understood how to arrange the elements of an array in ascending order and i'll be making a different videos regarding descending order of an array and also to find the second largest element of an array so i hope you people enjoyed watching this video thank you